Yo guys, what is going on? And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about an issue with the recent NVIDIA GeForce Experience drivers, um, specifically version 496.49. Now, this driver is the most recent one. It was released, I'd say maybe a week ago on the 26th of October, and it is not stable at all. For me, at least with my 1650 Super, it caused me, whenever I'm tabbing, it caused my monitor, whenever I would tab in and out of a game, to have a black screen for an extended period of time for five seconds i think it was it would make my monitor go black and i knew that this was just not right because usually it takes around a second for it to be black whenever i'm switching in and out of tabs or something like that and so i stayed up until pretty much five in the morning um today which would be the third um trying to figure out this issue and when i finally figured it out i was shocked now i had been messing around with a uh, custom resolution unit and testing out different stretch resolutions and i thought that i did something with that that was unreversible so i got very upset but it turns out it was actually just an unstable graphics driver in which it's very easy to fix now if you have right here the newest version and your option for this it says version 496.49 if it says currently installed and you're having these issues then i suggest that you roll back your drivers because if you don't it could cause issues to your pc not permanent issues of course you can always reverse stuff like this nvidia wouldn't put out a driver that could harm your device but it will cause unstable fps and like i said the issue with tabbing out of games and screens only you can fix this is to to go to your browser type in advanced nvidia driver now once you have that open go to here first link that pops up link will be in the description down below and you're going to select your product type mine is going to be a geforce i'm going to choose the 16 series make sure it's not notebook if you're on a desktop notebook is for laptop so if you have a laptop choose the one that says notebook but for me i have a desktop so i'm going to choose g4 16 series now i have a 1650 super so I'm going to choose that. I choose your operating system. There's Windows 11, 7, some other stuff. I have Windows 10. Don't need to change anything else besides down here. Make sure that it's on recommended slash certified. And then hit search. Now the one that I decided to do, which is this one, the newest one. Uh, I haven't tested it out on Fortnite yet. I will in a second. Um, but this is the newest available driver that NVIDIA said is certified to have no problems to their knowledge now these other drivers that are newer coming in from the geforce experience app those are indeed going to be not as good for your computer so what you're going to do is click on the driver you want now you can pick older ones there's stuff from october 7th of 2020 um but but if you were wondering what this is right next to it the whql whql is uh certified for windows basically which means windows themselves has said that it is a good driver to work with windows so basically it's backwards compatible so i just selected this one from september 20th which is going to be version 472.12 click on that and then you can click download now file size this is 701 megabytes make sure that you have that much space on your drives and then once you do that you click download and then your download bar will pop up at the bottom of your browser tab you're just going to click that and follow all the steps that it tells you to do i hope you guys did find this video helpful if you did please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe down below thanks for watching and see you later